Salut everyone! In this video, we're going to be talking about the new gaming phenomenon called Marvel Rivals. Yes, this game is just awesome. I've been playing it yesterday on stream for like five hours straight. But what we did, we actually went further and we did like benchmark it. We did test it to see if the game was actually worth it on Linux. Are you ready? Let's get into it. As always, we're going to start with a little bit of context. When the game was launched during one of my streams, I did try it and I thought it was running pretty well. However, I never had any like comparable. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what is the performance of Marvel Rival on Linux. And I want to compare it first between like a different version of Proton, then comparing like between like Wayland and X11 to see if you're actually losing performance using like a specific display protocol. And then we're going to compare it toward Windows. So if you think about the methodology, if you want to see the whole video when I did actually all those tests, I'm going to put a link in the description below. It's a five hour long video. So not only we are doing like the benchmark and, you know, testing like uh, the FPS average, uh, the overall feeling, would have, which I would call like the input lag. Uh, but w w I'm also like testing the game, like while you are actually like playing it, because I believe like benchmark give you a, a good idea of the performance, but sometimes it's just better to play the game and you will see like, uh, you're, you won't be disappointed about the findings there. So before we get into the performance number, I want to talk about the bug and some of the bugs which have been like uh, giving me by my community while I was actually doing the, the review and test uh, of this game. And what I noticed is that the first issue that a lot of members encountered is related to a black screen, like a codec issue within Proton. So this is really odd what I'm going to say to you guys, but on one of my installations on Cache OS, everything went smooth. I didn't have to do anything because I do play with Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge most of the time because i believe this is one of the best proton out there right now however uh, some member of my community kind of like noticed that even with this version they would have black screen but i couldn't reproduce it live however offline when i read it like some tests before recording this video i noticed on another installation of cache os i had the issue and the only way to not have the black screen for the video in the game was to switch Proton version. I, I uninstalled the game, I removed all the config files, I reinstalled it, and somehow the only way to do it was to uh, use Proton GE, for example, or Proton Cache OS, the one which is native to Cache OS. With those versions of Proton, no issue with the video, uh, but like uh, I can't explain it, to be fair. With Proton Experimental BD Edge, on one installation, it was working perfectly. On the other, it was not. So yeah, play with those. And if you have a solution, please uh, give a comment below. I I'm going to put it as a, uh, you know, like top comment up there uh, to make sure that everybody can take advantage of your findings. The second bug was related to Alt-Tab. And if you Alt-Tab, you're going to lose focus. So let's say you have another window, you Alt-Tab, and you will see that the actual, like, Windows, you are alt tabbing too, is going to be still behind the video game. So what I found out there is that you just need to alt tab twice and use your mouse to click on the window you actually wanted to use to actually focus out of the game. So this is a little bug, but it can be annoying. Uh, nothing crazy, but just, you know, like alt tab multiple times and then click on the uh, window you want to alt tab into and it's going to be fine. The other bug which was like mentioned was related to the language. So the language in the game is by default to English. And if you switch it in game and you restart the game, you will notice that language will be back to English no matter what. So the solution to that, to be fair, it's not only a Linux issue. Uh, this one is also a Windows issue. It's related to the game itself. Uh, you have to go to the launcher, go to the uh, little wheels at the top and change the language within the launcher. And then it's going to force the language you put within the launcher, within the game. Problem solved. 
I was not able to find it during the stream, but after uh, some research and some tests, uh, this solves the issue. Now let's talk about the performance themselves. So what I've done in terms of methodology, I launch the game uh, on Windows or Linux, right? And I jump right away in the practice mode. And I found a spot where I could have like a pretty high uh, FPS there. And I didn't touch any of the settings related to the preset. I just went to high. I set the preset to high. And I went to my spot. I'm using DLSS quality. And my hardware, it's a 5950X and a 1490. Um, the CPU is overclocked. The memory is well set up. And I had around like uh, 200 FPS in the spot I had using Cache OS with Wayland and Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge. So 200 FPS with my, I would say like, Base baseline. This is what I could would call like my baseline on Linux. When it comes to input lag, I put a scale to one to ten to see like if I actually had like input lag. And I have to say that the game is super reactive when it comes to input lag on Linux. Uh, you don't have to you know be scared about like you know losing reactivity when gaming on Linux. I couldn't find like you know this. A uh, little like input lag that's gonna put you behind. You're gonna be aligned with uh, Windows, no problemo, lama mano. So this is really important. So now what I did, I start to kind of like play with the settings. And one settings which was like asked by my community was frame gen. So I just switch uh, frame gen on, and my frame rate went from 200 to 260 FPS at the same spot. Uh, I was kind of like also surprised by the input lag with frame gen. I have to say that it was still good. So it was not as good as uh, the, the one like you would have without frame gen, but I, I was kind of surprised. I was expecting the input lag to be way higher. So this was kind of a surprise. I, I have to tell it to you guys, the frame gen did increase my input lag, but not by that much compared to like solo game where you kind of like, you know, you, you feel like you are in the cloud kind of, like it feels really, really bad. It actually felt good. I wouldn't still recommend to use frame gen if you are playing competitively because it's going to put you behind compared to people who are actually not using it. But, it, you know, if you are just playing for fun, it would be fine. Now, when it comes to frame gen itself and Linux, what I noted though is that when you activate frame gen, the mouse sensitivity settings kind of like become off. So I don't know how they set it up in Proton or if it's, I, I don't know exactly how it works. But what I can tell you is like when FrameGen is on, your mouse sensitivity will be all over the place. It feels like acceleration is on. And yeah, it, it really feels really bad. So it's, something is odd there and something you need to take in consideration because I felt it right away it kind of like impact the mouse sensitivity in game. The second point I noticed too is that it creates a lot of ghosting. So on Windows, somehow the ghosting is there, but it's not as bad as the one on Linux. Like my cursor was like all over the place when I was turning fast on, on myself. So I could see like the ghosting everywhere. And yeah, like this, this is going to be again a problem for the clarity of, you know, the game especially in this game where there is so many action all around the place. And now when it comes to performance itself, we went from like 200 FPS to 260 FPS, uh, which, which is good, but it's not as crazy as what you would get on other games. So, you know, uh, I had some game where I will double my FPS and here I, ju I just get like what, like 25%, 30%? Yeah. Now what I want you to do is try uh, the same game, but with a different version of Proton. And what I've done, I tried the game with uh, the Proton native Cache OS versus the Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge. And here, I got exactly the same amount of FPS, exactly the same, I would say, like experience in terms of input lag. So I would say, yeah, uh, you know, whatever version of Proton you're going to use, normally you should have uh, the same experience, at least. Uh, in between those two, it was perfectly fine. It was running. The other test I did is using NT-Sync. So 
Proton Cache OS right now has a specific version in which you can activate anti-sync. I did activate anti-sync and the FPS were exactly the same. No difference. So anti-sync or F-sync, same war for this game. You're going to have exactly the same amount of FPS. You are not losing or gaining anything by tweaking those parameters on Linux. So the next step was to move from Wayland to X11. So I moved to X11, redid the, the exact same test. And there I noticed that on X11 with Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge, and I would have around like 5% uh, more FPS. So where I was having like 200, now I would have 210. So it's kind of interesting to see that the gap between Wayland and X11 is actually reducing because I remember like one year ago with my hardware, my Nvidia card, the gap was way bigger. And now like we reduce it to like like uh, 3%, 5%. And I have to say, it's, it's, it's pretty nice to see the improvement. We are not on par yet. You are still losing FPS, so here like 10 FPS. It's not that bad, but still I need to, to share it with you. The other thing I notice is that in terms of input lag, it will still be a little bit better on X11. Nothing crazy, don't get me wrong, but it will still feel just a tad bit uh, snappier on X11. And it's something I need to share with you guys. Uh, X11 is still better when it comes to like uh, mouth smoothness. So now let's move to Windows. For Windows, I did use Windows 11 24H2, uh, totally debloated. It's running native, same settings than on Linux. I went to the same spot and guess what? I got 246 FPS for the same game. So when you look at the number, it's around like 20% increase compared to Linux, which is just insane. And this is really where we have been at for all the DirectX 12 game, Unreal Engine 5 game we have been testing in between Linux and Windows. I have to tell you, it hurts me a lot at this moment because I, I really love Linux. I would love Linux to perform uh, the same as Windows, but here we have another case where, well, it's not happening. Then I enable frame gen. And here the, the frame gen was as poor, I would say, as, as the one on Linux. I just gained again like 60 FPS. So I went around like 300 FPS when I activated frame gen. So for the same reason as on Linux, I would not recommend using frame gen on this game. Yes, it's going to give you more FPS, but what you lose for the 60 FPS, in my opinion, is just not worth it. What kind of like struck me though is that when running on Windows, the game feels way, way smoother. So it's not related to input lag. I would say the input lag and the reactivity will be the same. But let's say I would go into a place and start to do a 360 with my mouse with a, you know, like kind of like smooth move. I will notice that on Windows, I will have less micro stuttering. And it's not uh, micro stuttering like uh, related to the performance of the graphic card or anything. It, it, it's something else. So I, I could not debug what was going on on Linux. So what I've done, I reinstalled the game. I, I, I lower the resolution. I, I, I change Proton. I change the kernel. I, I, I change so many things. I also start the game in TTY with Gamescope to see if it helps. And I don't think it's related to uh, the display protocol. I don't think it's uh, related to the driver. I, 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 I can't tell exactly what it is. I was not able to figure it out. But there is something going on on Linux in which makes the game not as smooth as on Windows. This specific one. And I would say on Apex Legend, it was the opposite, for example. My experience on Apex was way better on Linux than it was on Windows. But in this specific case scenario, there is all those like micro stutter. So they are not like big stutter where, you know, you will have a block like that. It's more like, I can't explain it. They are random and it, it doesn't feel as smooth. So before you jump there, because I, I, I can see you guys already, you're going to be like, hey, dude, it's because you are using an NVIDIA card, etc. I had viewers during the stream who use a 
AMG card and, and they did install the game while I was playing and I got their feedback. And they told me they had exactly the same issue and I did believe them. My community is really like, you know, objective uh, when it comes to those numbers. And I'm telling you, like, it's not related to NVIDIA. I, I believe, and I, I couldn't figure it out, but I do believe it's related uh, to Proton. There is something going on with those Unreal Engine 5 game and DirectX 12 game in general that kind of like block somewhere and you can't feel it. So it's not, you know, it, it's, it's not bad, bad, bad to a point like you can't play the game. But if you are a competitive gamer and you, you want to have like 100% of, you know, the experience with a high refresh rate, a, a pretty like beefy graphic card, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it 100%. Uh, so, you know, if you're playing competitive, I would say right now, like, you know, try to avoid Linux. We'll talk a, a little bit more about this in the conclusion. But yeah, you're going to feel it. And it sucks. The second point I want to mention related to Windows is like the game crashed. Okay, like I played uh, like solid like two hours on Linux. Everything went okay. Uh, obviously, I didn't have the same performance, like 20% less. Uh, the, 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 the micro stuttering were there. They were not bad, but still you can feel it from time to time and it doesn't feel as smooth. However, the game didn't crash. On Windows, after one hour, crash. I had to like kill the game, alt-tab, and relaunch the game, which kind of sucks. Uh, but it did happen, and, and I want to mention that to you guys. Uh, yeah. Windows. So how do we conclude this one? Uh, the way I want to conclude this one is, uh, like at the same time, like positive and negative. On one hand, you can see like competitive gaming, which are using an anti-cheat actually now works day one on Linux. So I really hope uh, the team uh, behind uh, Marvel Rivals is going to keep it this way. The game works on Linux. It's not perfect. As you can see, we got some uh, performance loss. Whether you are using an AMD or NVIDIA card compared uh, to Windows, you might have also, uh, I, I can feel it, maybe you won't be able to feel it if you have a low refresh rate, uh, monitor, but you have like some type of like issue related to the smoothness of the game as we speak. Maybe it's going to be ironed out in the future. I really hope so. But the game works. So if you are not really like, you know, going to be like trying to be the number one in the world in this game, you, you don't have the competitive mindset, you're going to have fun. Like I played a long hours on Linux and it was totally okay. I did some MVP, I, I, had, I did some ACs, like, you, you can still compete. But I would say you're going to arrive to a point where, uh, you know, against other players, you, you don't want to lose those, uh, you know, milliseconds and stuff. Yeah, maybe you're going to have to switch to Windows. It sucks. I, I want to be honest with you. Like, I, right now, I'm a little bit upset because I would love to tell you guys, this is it. We are at the same level for one of the most competitive games right now played um uh, but yeah it's not the case guys so i uh, you know I, I i would love um it to be fixed but yeah th this is where we are at. so guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for subscribing uh thank you for all the support you gave me during the stream again if you want to see the full test uh, i'm gonna put a link in the description below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give a thumbs up and yeah, that's it. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one. And as always, bisous, bisous.